Hi, let's solve this SAT math exam. It's an interesting one and easy one at that, yes. Now we are asked to find the radius of this circle, of the inscribed circle. Please, this is not drawn to scale. Now first, let us discuss what a radius is. We all know what a radius is. The radius of a circle is any straight line drawn from the center of the circle to each circumference, okay? So if this is a circle and this is the center, any straight line from each center to the circumference, each center to circumference is the radius of the circle. All right. So we are giving different points on the quadrilateral. Point A has x coordinate as 1 and its y coordinate as 3. Point B has its x coordinate as 7 and its y coordinate as 9. Now point C has its x coordinate as 2 being the center of the circle and its y coordinate as 6. Now first of all, let us find, we are told that this circle touches AB at its midpoint. Okay, so that is what we are told in the question. So let's call this midpoint M and let's try to find the x and y coordinates of the midpoint M. So let us go back to our high school days, okay? So let us discuss the formula for finding the midpoint between two points, okay? So the midpoint of a line M of x, comma, y, this is the x coordinate and this is the y coordinate. We are told is equal to x1 minus x2 divided by 2, okay, comma, y1, sorry, x1 plus x2 divided by 2, comma, y1 plus y2 divided by 2, all right? So that is the x and the y coordinate of the midpoint of A and B, whereby we can decide to name this as 1 as x1 and 3 as y1 so this means that this is x2 that is 7 is x2 and 9 is y2 now if we substitute we have that the midpoint that is x comma y the coordinates of the midpoint will be equal to x1 is 1 so we have 1 and x2 is 7 so it's going to be 1 plus 7 divided by 2 comma, then y1 plus y2, that is 3 plus 9, right? 3 plus 9 divided by 2. So we have m x comma y is equal to 1 plus 7, we give us 8, divided by 2. 3 plus 9, we give us 12 divided by 2. So the midpoint, the coordinates of the midpoint will be equal to 4, 6, right? Yeah. So let's replace this with 4, 6. Okay. If this is the first time you are seeing this amazing face and this amazing channel, please click the subscription button now okay please click the subscription button turn the notification bell because i wouldn't like to miss you in my next video all right give us a thumbs up if you are actually enjoying this video if you are a returning viewer and a returning subscriber thank you so much i appreciate your support okay now always tune in at your convenience there must be something new for you to watch by the grace of god thank you so much i appreciate you now we have found the midpoint of A, B. All right. Now, what else do we need to find? We are told to find the radius. And remember that radius is any straight line from the center of the circle to any part of the circumference of the circle. So if I decide to write, to draw my straight line from here, being the center to this point, this is my radius r now how do i get the length remember also this um, um this particular formula for you to get the distance between two points 
distance between two points let's call this okay we've already written it as r the distance this time around is r okay is equal to the square root of x1 minus x2 all squared plus y1 minus y2 all squared yes or you can say x2 minus x1 all squared plus y2 minus y1 all squared so anyone you want to write ensure you maintain the same way uh, if this is x1 then this should be y1 all right if this is x2 this should be x y2 as well all right so this is it now let us call this x1 and y1 okay and call this x2 y2 i'm talking of the line mc okay the length now now r being the radius of the line okay being the r is the radius of the circle and equal to the distance between m and c therefore the radius will be equal to the distance the square root of now x1 minus x2 that is 4 minus 2 4 minus 2 squared plus y1 minus y2 6 minus 6 right 6 minus 6 squared so the radius is equal to the square root of 4 minus 2 is 2 so we have 2 squared plus 6 minus 6 is 0 we have 0 squared so r will be equal to the square root of 2 squared is 4. So we have 4 plus 0. Because 0 squared is still 0. Therefore, R will be the square root of 4. Which is equal to plus or minus 2. But we are going to take plus 2. Okay? Because we are talking about length. And length cannot be negative. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video.